Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can wipe our hard drive with zeros uh, using the command prompt. Now I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing this and uh, it's a pretty cool way of learning how to do it in command prompt and it's also a secure erase which means uh, you will be able to wipe all the data from that drive especially if you're giving the computer away. So you can see here uh, we got a drive here. I'm going to be using a USB flash drive for quickness, but you can use this method on a standard C drive or mechanical drive or anything like that. It will completely wipe uh, the drive clean and free of zeros. So that's what we're going to be using in this one. This is only four gigabytes in size, so it shouldn't take too long. And I wanted to show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and uh, set this off. And uh, we're going to be first going down to the search box and type in CMD. I'm going to run, the, run this as administrator, right click here and run this as administrator. And uh, now what we're going to do is type format space forward slash question mark. And this will give us all the switches that we can use for the format command. Now you can see there's a bunch of stuff inside here. It does look a bit overwhelming, but it's not too bad. You can see here forward slash FS. This is uh, your file system. So depending on what file system uh, you're wanting to wipe, you can see FAT, FAT32, XFAT, also NTFS, UDF and uh, ReFS, you can see there, and you can uh, use that switch. And I'll show you how to do it in a second. Uh, but also another one which we're going to be using here, um, uh, rather than the normal standard format, we're going to be uh, erasing it with zeros. Now to do that, you're going to need to use the forward slash p command so let me come down here and i'll quickly show you it's a bunch of other stuff in here we're not going to get too deep into but the forward slash p colon equals count and this will basically be uh, zero every uh, sector of the volume on that drive so after that the volume will be overwritten and you can type the count number inside here depending on how many times you want to do it so if you want to do say for instance forward slash p colon two that will give you uh, two overwrites for that drive okay now obviously the more overwrites will determine how long it takes and the size of the drive will also determine how long it takes as well and how fast your computer is but generally uh, you know the longer you uh, want to wipe the drive and more secure would be the higher the number on the count side there and that's pretty much it really it's a pretty straightforward simple uh, solution and uh, you do get a countdown on this one so let's go ahead and take a look at how we can use this first let's clear the screen by typing cls so let's go ahead and type in our command that we want to use here and that is format space d colon for our drive letter that we're using and then we also want to do uh, space forward slash and we're going to be doing fs colon and the file system that we want to use in my case i'm going to do ntfs but if you want to do fat32 you'd put fat32 there space forward slash p colon and then the amount of times that you want to overwrite the drive in this case you can put two one whatever number you want to put in there uh, depending on how many times you want to overwrite will determine how long it takes now we need to make sure we've got the insert new disk for drive D and push enter when ready. Now remember guys, this will overwrite all the data uh, on this drive and it will completely erase any data and you won't be able to recover it. So if you've got data on there that you want to keep, do not use this command because you won't get it back. So let me just uh, go ahead and let this continue. Now this will take a bit of time, uh, but when this completes, uh, you should see uh, some information coming up about the overwrite. Now, if you get any errors here, if there's any sort of bad sectors or any sort of errors with the drive, it will also list those and say errors were found and you've got so many bad sectors. And that means your drive is dying and you want to replace it. So just be careful uh, when you get that. If you do get error messages, don't use that drive for your uh, sensitive data because it could crash and lose all that information. You should now see uh, this information here. So if you don't want to have a volume label, that is the name of the drive. We're going to call this backup and we can push enter and it will create that file uh, system structure. 
and that's pretty much it you can got the information here that drive is now overwritten and uh, it should be safe to uh, give it to someone if you wanted to they won't be able to get data back off of it because it's been wiped uh, and zeroed and it will be very difficult for them to recover any sort of data on that drive um, it's probably not impossible uh, but it, it's a, a way of being more secure when you're trying to overwrite stuff Now, there's obviously software out there you can use here and you can see I'm accessing the drive perfectly fine now I could use this drive uh, and it's been completely wiped now we'll show you another way so let's do click CLS here and clear the screen and I'll show you another way using the uh, disk part now disk part is a pretty old uh, system it's been around for a long time so I'm going to type in here disk part and open this up you should see disk part here and from here what we're going to do is type list space disk and this will list all the disks on the uh, computer and you can see there's three inside here now you need to make sure you get the right one it's not going to tell you which one's what it's just going to say disk 0 disk 1 and disk 2 and you need to check now if you're not 100 percent sure you can use disk management to determine which drive is which now if you use this command on the wrong drive it's going to start to erase that data so be very very careful uh, at what you're doing here okay so you can see i've got them listed here if i right click on the start button and go to uh, disk management and to be 100 percent sure you can see here i can click on the backup drive which is the drive that i'm going to be writing to which is this uh, drive d you can see here 3.75 gigabytes and if I come down here it should tell me it is disk 2 so now I know it is 100% disk 2 and I can go ahead and type disk 2 in there and select that drive and start to erase that data on there it's just a little safety net to make sure that you don't make a mistake uh, if you're not so sure which one it is if, especially if you've got a lot of drives so let's uh, uh, type in here select space disk and then two and that is our select disk two it's now selected and we can now go ahead and type in our wipe command which is basically uh, clean all so we're going to type clean space all and that will then start to wipe and erase the data on that drive now this will take a bit of time. The downfall side with this is it doesn't give you any information. It doesn't give you any sort of progress bar along the bottom here. It's just a waiting game and you have to be a bit patient. But that's the trouble with uh, the command prompt uh, and DOS box here. You don't really get sort of information. It doesn't tell you when you're going wrong or when you're doing something right. It just sits there. So you're just going to have to leave that. Okay, now obviously if this is a larger drive, uh, it will take a considerable amount of time and uh, there is other methods which you can do which is software which I have covered in previous videos uh, so check those out uh, in my playlists but basically that is it for this video that's basically how you can erase with zeros and write zeros to your drive to erase all the data it's called a secure erase and my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope this one's been useful to you Hope it's been helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.